It all began back in 2008 when Scott and I got together and we were just talking about this proposal we had from the Napa Parks and Rec Department about providing music in downtown Napa. We sent out a message to ask a bunch of bands to play for free. And they did. They showed up. It's kind of like a mini concert every Friday. It's like old school rock and roll. It's really a fun family event. It's a place where you can bring a picnic basket, a blanket. Not only is it great entertainment, it's free. It's one of the best festivals you find anywhere in the United States. So Napa City Nights is a free concert series put on by a group of very passionate musicians that wanted to bring some free music to the community. When we first started Napa City Nights, we had a lot of young kids come in. They showed a great interest in wanting to learn a little bit more about concert production. And so our internship program provides them just that. We, we didn't know where it was going to go. And before we knew it, word started spreading around town and people started coming down. Now we're coming into our 10th season and we hope to do another 10 years. We show up about 4 o'clock with our trailer. We uh, get all our stuff, we unload it, and roll it on down to the amphitheater. So there's no stakes, so we have to basically set everything up. We run our power, get the lights up, get the truss up, we make sure all our audio is working. And then the show kicks off, and throughout the course of the show, we have a couple set changes, which our interns love to participate in. Uh, the preparation starts fairly early. I uh, usually go shopping at Costco. I come down here about 4 o'clock when uh, the rest of the setup crew shows up, and I kind of stake my spot out. Napa City Nights is an opportunity for the community to come together. I mean, I always feel like our audience is part of our show. Napa City Nights opens the community's eyes to the tremendous amount of local musical talent that's right here in the valley. Napa City Nights is the community. It was built by people that live here. It's played by people that live here. It's kind of become a tradition over the past few years. At Napa City Nights, there's a lot of different uh, types of people that come down. You see every kind of person down here from street people to people driving Bentleys. You have a lot of families that go to this. Little kids going there, they love dancing. I see my friends, I see little kids, I see older people. You see just about uh, every type of person there, there is. Napa City Nights only goes down because of the love from town. It takes sponsors, it's all done with love, but nothing gets done without money. So what we need is as many of the local merchants and people who care about music and art to continue. If you want to keep it in Napa, become part. All donations to Napa City Nights are tax deductible because Napa City Nights is a 501c3. Anybody that sponsors events is getting recognition from their community. These guys work so hard every week to set up and tear down and to make sure the park is left the same way that it was when they got here. It's everybody's duty to help out in that. If you're a local artist that lives anywhere in Napa, Sonoma Valley, what you need to do is submit your music because they pick different bands every year. So it's a lot of fun. You need to come down on a Friday night. Go. Grab a blanket, grab a bottle of wine, tell your friends. You have to go on a Friday night and check it out. It is so much fun. Napa City Nights every Friday night. Three artists, opens with an acoustic artist, it builds and by the end it turns into a dance party every Friday night.